think she's going to be caught. It's very robust, um, less aerodynamic, not sweet. But comes across very powerful and strong compared to that of like the new models. It seems to be more like elegant, aerodynamic, definitely more streamlined. Both the Shiren and Byron are old cars. The last production stopped in like 2015 for the Shiren and the Byron 2017. However, if you were to look to purchase one of these cars, they would still retain their kind of value. This is because with limited supply, the value obviously appreciates and doesn't depreciate in value, even through, even though the value shoots up incrementally. In value, even through, even though the value shoots up incrementally. Now, before I give you insights into the specification of the car, let me tell you a few things that you might not have known. Firstly, the Bugatti is not a supercar, it's for a hypercar. It's a sports car, in my opinion. The former years used to take part in Grand Prix Formula One. I won a few races at Monaco before obviously the part in the sport. There seems to be a common consensus here among supercars and hypercars that one point in time they took part in Formula One. I certainly wouldn't have never thought with the Bugatti at um, I certainly would have never thought that with the Bugatti at Formula However, sure enough, they did. Bugatti was acquired by Volkswagen Group. Yep, Volkswagen. I was surprised myself. Who essentially acquired the brand and obviously revolutionised it completely. Now, when we're obviously discussing the interior of both cars, it's obviously a two-seater. I'm not really a fan of the interior. In the centre cabin of the vehicle, you will obviously have the gear stick, which to me comes across as very like clunky, very in your face. It's a bit it's a bit I feel like it's a bit of an eyesore. You obviously have the control panels, the car's transmission, and you have the control panels, the car track, which is obviously automatic. It does not have any shift paddles and it's and it's got the cops behind the steering wheel. Now it's ground high, meaning how far is it from the ground? It's not like other cars where you simply feels like you're really having to like dive out the car. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now with the exterior, now with the exterior of the car, the engine is at the front, it has a W16 engine. In terms of boot space, there really isn't one. The the Bugatti I feel was the Bugatti that I was in was, like, was a hard top. There's no like panoramic roof, nothing like that. Um, I love when you see the panoramic roof. <laughs> I honestly feel like there's not so much going on in the cabin of the car with the Byron and the Shiron. However, when you start thinking about the centre of the silly, Mr. or the ball line, you can definitely say that there is an upgrade, a complete upgrade, level up. However, you want to call it just take a look now the centre dilly is now the centre dilly is very rare and to get your hands on one of these will be very hard because there's only 10 in circulation so unless you are going to like a car event or you show someone who has it or you know someone who has it the chances of you seeing one is very slim unless you're obviously looking to buy one um and that's obviously the person who is willing to sell it it's aerodynamic streamlined it just it to me a feeling of like grandeur, sophistication. It's completely, it's a completely different car. In terms of, we must talk about the interior. It is very compact compared to like a Byron. I feel like the way in which the different buttons are aligned for the different functionalities of the car seem more kind of neater and like well put together. Now, if you now compare this car to a bowline, there's like a set. If you now compare this car to a bowline, there's like a significant difference, like immediately. Um, the inside of the car is literally um, the inside of the car is literally forward thinking and innovative. To say to say the least. One obvious reason for the, for saying that is the, obviously the steering wheel. Now the different functionalities vary. So the different functionalities vary. Um, I feel like the different functions are very much out of this world. I feel like it's very futuristic, high specifications. But when you when you look um, at the mission, so for about five minutes, 